안녕하십니까 오늘 높으신 양반 모셨습니다 게임 엔진 유니티 아시죠? 유니티의 최고 대빵 CEO 존 리치 티엘로 모셨습니다 Nice to, nice to meet you uh, Mr. 존 리치 티엘로 I'm Korean Game Information 유튜버 주식 백과 Nice to meet you Great to meet you Yeah He's high energy Energy yeah, High tension Okay Do I have to do that? Okay Okay Okay, okay. 한국에 오시기까지 참 많은 시간이 걸렸습니다. 유니티 CEO로 취임하신 게 2014년으로 알고 있는데 그 이후에 잠깐 한번 한국 오시고 15년에 그 이후에 거의 10년 만에 지금 거의 7, 8년 만에 처음 오신 건데 어떠십니까? 왜 이렇게 한국 오시는데 오래 걸렸어요? I've been here a few times as CEO. Last, um, last three to four years has been confused with COVID and so it was more difficult to travel. But I think the Korean market is a fantastic market for games and we have a great team here and it's fun to be here and I couldn't be happier. 예, 그 전에 또 축하 인사도 하나 드려야 될것 같은데 내년이면 이제 유니티 CEO 취임하신 지 10주년 되니까 미리 축하드리고요. 어, 유니티 오시기 전에는 EA Sports 진더 게임. 오케이? 유노 EA. EA에 계셨더라고요. 근데 지금 이 유니티 코리아 건물에 또 EA가 있습니다. 이거 참 대단한 인연 아니겠습니까? Yes, it is a great coincidence and I love both companies. 음. 오래간만에 찾아오셨는데 좋아하시는 한국 게임 있습니다. There's many great Korean developers. I remember getting killed by a bunch of Koreans in mm. one of the PC online game um, cafes here in Lineage. This was probably a decade ago. Um, they were tough. You know, I was part of bringing FIFA here and working with Nexon on mm -hmm. that. So NCSoft onto Nexon. You no, know, it's, it's hard not to, to think of companies like Netmarble and their innovation. Um, but you now the Korean market is always been um, a hotbed of innovation, uh, big production values, high quality games, and um, you know, it's just, there's a lot of them that are great. A single favorite, I'd hate to, I hate to say this, the one I spent the most time mm -hmm. was with uh, the FIFA online game that Electronic Arts put together with Nexon. 예, 유니티 CEO로서 한국 게임 시장을 어떻게 보십니까? 한국 게임 시장 전체. I think the Korean game market is probably And it's the fourth largest game market in the world. It's a very sophisticated market. Games that prevail here mm. are richer, uh, better produced, more complex, mm. more story driven mm. than games on average around the world. Mm -hmm. So like PC developers here has got, got into mobile and they're the same people building them, bigger projects. Mm. It's a very competitive market. And I think like rest, the rest of the world, it's looking for the next innovation. What's going to change things? The gaming industry has been sort of stayed for a while, uh, leveling off, and I think it's uh, it's time for the next new thing, and uh, I think that's coming. 혁신, 이노베이션 정말 중요한데 그리고 되게 진보되어 있는 게임 시장인 것도 맞아요 한국이. 그런데 그동안 한국은 이제 DM 비즈니스 모델 쪽으로만 많이 발전이 돼 있고 말씀하신 대로 기술 혁신 쪽으로 좀 정체되어 있는 게 맞기 때문에 정확하게 한국 시장을 보신 것 같습니다. 유니티를 통해서 한국 시장이 더 발전할 수 있을까요? When I said the market was stayed. What I meant is I, I agree with your point, which is the last few years has felt more like big game companies refining their business models more than big companies building fundamentally innovative new games. Mm -hmm. I think that um, in the games industry, profound changes in technology often bring innovation from game developers. We saw huge innovation in the late 90s when we got powerful GPUs and 3D games were possible. Mm. 2D to 3D changed a lot. In the early 2000s, we got big innovation again with the internet. Multiplayer gaming mm -hmm. became, you know, so much more compelling than story-based single-player gaming. In 2010, we saw the iPhone and the rise of mobile gaming. While there's a lot of mobile games that I'm not so fond of, there's a lot of really innovative product out there. Mm -hmm. um, one here from our, our Chinese customer, Mahoyo, which is uh, against an impact, a very big, rich mobile game. The next technology innovation that's going to spawn truly new games um, is AI. AI, Artificial Intelligence. Yes. 좋습니다. AI, 그리고 Unity에 대해서 말씀하셨는데 그럼 AI Unity 얘기 좀 해볼게요. Muse and Sentis. 신제품 Muse와 Sentis는 Unity에서 어떤 의미입니까? 정말 강하게 푸시라고 계시던데요. Unity의 로드맵에서 얼마나 중요한 애들입니까? 그두 녀석이. Muse and Sentis are very different products. Muse is Gen Art or Gen Code or Gen Script. What that means is that a creator can make something they would otherwise make in a hundred hours 
in ten. They can make, they can create a script instantly when it might have taken hours before. So what Muse does is it enables creators to do to be more powerful. With Muse, you can um, eventually you'll be able to take an entire scene, say make the river bigger or faster and the sun brighter and the mountains taller and the eagle more powerful. And those things can happen because you asked for them, as opposed to spending thousands of hours working in modeling or working in scripting. Muse, to start with, is going to make game producers, game creators, designers, and artists more powerful. 100 hours is more than 10 hours. It's really amazing. But in Korea, the issue of game developers is very strong. So, the quality of the game is very powerful. The game developers are very powerful. The game developers are very powerful. The game developers are very powerful. I want to make two points. One is answering this question, mm -hmm. and one finishing the question you asked just before. Yes, Unity will help people build games faster than they could before. The other option, though, is to spend the same amount of time and make them better. Put more care, because you don't have to do the rudimentary work that's repetitive. That can be done by Unity using Mu. So you can be more creative. You can invest more of your your brain and not your hand. Um, I think that's going to yield better games and better entertainment. Sentis is very different. Several years ago, we began, began to work on putting AI into the Unity runtime. Uh, the runtime is what controls the characters in a video game, the animation, the lighting, the physics. It's that technology. Unity's runtime is downloaded more than four billion times a month. These are the games that are built in Unity. They use the Unity runtime. And we've built AI into the runtime. We call this Sentis. It's an inference engine. It enables the non-player characters or the environment to be truly alive. I think creators will do things that they've never dreamed of before. I think this is a breakthrough for creativity and for new types of games we've never seen before. In a traditional game, mm. you have a non-player character. Uh, many of them, and me most games have many non-player characters. If you approach the character, maybe the character has four lines of dialogue. That's it. The creators wrote four lines of dialogue, they have no more dialogue. Or you're playing an open world game and you go into rob a liquor store. The clerk behind the, behind the counter is a non-player character. Maybe they have five lines of dialogue. Maybe they give you the money and that's it if you're robbing the store. Or they run out of the store afraid or they attack you back and try to shoot you. But some writer wrote three or four scenarios and that's all there is. Imagine instead that they could do anything say anything and feel like they're alive, not just scripted by a writer or designer. 그러니까 저도 게임 개발자였거든요. 그래서 이 NPC 스크립트 채우는 게 정말 소위 말해서 인 코리안 노가다 정말 힘든 일이었어요. 근데 유니티 AI로 이 시간을 단축시킬 수 있고 더 풍부 풍부하게 만들 수 있다면 그것은 정말 혁신적인 일이 되겠군요. Let me explain something though. In game industry, we've talked AI for a long time. We've discussed AI for a long time. So let's go to a game I mentioned before, FIFA. FIFA. Okay, we'll talk FIFA. When FIFA, there's 22 players on the field. You're playing one. You play one, I play one, we're competing. The other characters are banded in formations with primitive AI. So they're, they follow the ball, they do all the logical things. But it's within an envelope. Imagine, with the right prompt, that FIFA player could get up and walk into the stands, meet a character, bring them out onto the field, or hit you over the head with a bat or run away, or talk to you about physics. Literally, any of these types of extreme possibilities. Now, imagine the city of Seoul. Some creator has put a million NPCs in the city. Taxi drivers, bus drivers, people working in restaurants. They're living a life. And you build a game on top of that world. They can do anything. So maybe when you go in that liquor store to rob the store, they mm -hmm. beat you over the head, Take your gun and steal your car. Imagine what games would be like if you could do that. 플레이어들이 더 유기적으로 AI를 통해서 움직인다. 이것도 되게 매력적일 것 같은데 옛날에 그 쇠물하는 게임 있었잖아요. 일일이 그 스크립트로 NPC들 움직임 다 제어하려 그러다가 정말 게임이 좀 힘들어졌었는데 그런 것들이 AI로 서울 시내 그 천만 명의 NPC들이 다 유기적으로 똑똑하게 움직일 수 있다 그러면은 정말 재밌을 것 같습니다. 재식 백과. Unity AI가 대단하다는 건 알겠는데 게임 개발자가 쉽게 개발을 할수 있어야 이게 가치가 있을 것 같거든요. 그러니까 얼마나 쉽게 다룰 수 있을까요? 이게 숙련자들만을 위한 것인지 아니면 뉴비, 초보들도 할수 있는 것인지? Um, really either. And, and no one has ever done this before. It's just starting. But you were a game developer. Mm -hmm. Someone would 
create the animations for the four things mm -hmm. an NPC can do. And they'd write the dialogue for the four things that a basic player can do. Now instead, they'll create a backstory for the NPC, who they are. They're a drug addict, they're a physics student, a race car driver, they'll give them a backstory. Mm -hmm. They'll give them ambition. Then, using tools like Muse, they'll create 10,000 of these characters with ambitions, and 100,000, and then a million for the city like Seoul. And what will make them smart, all of these NPCs, is beta testing. We'll get in that world, we'll interact with them. Just like ChatGPT went like this and they got infinitely smart with 100 million users, the worlds we create will get smart in response mm -hmm. to player interaction. So I could imagine some developer here in Korea will create the city. Maybe it'll be a fictional version of the city. They'll put 100,000 characters in it. And they'll use that same environment for a game, two games, 10 games, two movies, another game. Mm. It'll be alive. Those characters will interact with each other and with you as a player. I don't even know how to describe how crazy that'll be. I can't wait. Unity AI의 방향성 이게 두 가지로 볼수 있을 것 같은데 코드 애니메이션 뭐 에셋 제작 같은 생산성 생산성의 극대화 혹은 게임 엔진에 대한 접근성 편의성 편의성을 강화하는 거이두 가지 영역 중에 어느 쪽에 더 집중하고 있다고 볼수 있겠습니까? You're right. I think it does both. When we think of Muse now for making producers creators more more productive, we think of existing game developers. But I do think you're right that if you open the Unity editor thousands of possible instructions, scripts to write. It's very complicated. Mm. Introducing natural language here will make game development accessible to millions more people. One thing I would say, just because I give you a paintbrush and a canvas does not make you Leonardo. Game developers today have mastered the tools, but the ones that succeed have mastered the art. And um, like with everything, just because you can do it doesn't mean it's any good. So I think it's going to be really interesting to see. I think we're going to get to a place like anyone can paint. Not anyone can make a game. Soon anyone can make a game. Mm -hmm. But I still think the great artists will rise. 본질을 터득한다면 누구나 이제 유니티를 잘 다룰 수 있을 것이라고 생각하는데 유니티의 지난 행보를 보면은 기존 기업 게임사뿐만 아니라 아마추어 앤 인디 개발자들도 유니티를 적은 돈으로 잘 활용할 수 있게 그런 정책을 해주셔서 참 감사하게 생각하고 있었거든요. 혹자는 이것을 게임 개발의 민주화라고도 이제 표현하기도 했는데 이런 모두를 위한 유니티의 정책들이 앞으로도 계속 되는지 된다면 또 어떤 추가적인 정책이 있을 수 있을지 10 years ago, mm -hmm. I was on the Unity board. I wasn't the CEO yet. I went to a Unite event. Unite, a very small, 200 developers. Because Unity was very small. And during the uh, event, executives from Unity would stand on stage and they would put up new technology, new features. And I'd never seen anything like it before. The audience was clapping, jumping, cheering. When it was over, the lights went out and they put up lighters, like, you know, flame, like at a rock concert. I'd never seen anything like it before. I'd been to business meetings with customers, but nothing like this. After it was over, I asked a bunch of the developers, you're crazy, what? they were crazy. And then they got crazier still. They'd pull up their shirt and they'd show me a Unity tattoo, the 3D logo. And I said, you guys are nuts. What, what, what's with the tattoos? And they told me the story, almost always the same story. I used to be an accountant, or I used to be a teacher, or I used to work in a library, or I used to sell cars. But I downloaded Unity, I started to make games, and now I'm a creator. And they thanked us for bringing them into the life of a creator. And that story motivates everyone at Unity. Everyone. We think of that person mm -hmm. when we think of what we're motivated to do. So mm -hmm. the story from yesterday, or this happens very often. Mm -hmm. Day before yesterday, I met the, the CEO of Mahoyo, mm -hmm. the big Chinese game company. They told me a story just like this from 2011. They were the startup with three guys mm. learning to make a game. Unity is about supporting the creator, mm. and then sometimes the creator grows up and they get to be very, 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 very big. And we're proud of both of them, the little one and the big one. Some of our technologies are easier mm. if you're big. One of our most exciting 
parts of our technology stack. There's a thing we call DOTS, Data Oriented Technology Stack. It's the Entity Component System Burst Compiler. It's the data orientation versus object orientation for content generation. And it, it approaches the GPU very differently. And you can make really much more sophisticated games, much more complex games, millions of objects, uh, much more dynamism in the environment. I thought it would only be used by giant developers. And every day, I meet someone by themselves or five people that are making a game in dots. Steam, a very small studio, probably 20 maybe. V Rising, the number one game on Steam when I looked. And it's just a very small team, but very skilled making a very advanced game. You ask, you know, like what we're trying to do. We, we dream of those little guys and helping them become the big guy, but we still have to support the big guy. And some of our technologies, like data on the technology stack, is more easily dealt with by the big guy, but the little guys get there too. 좋은 말씀 정말 감사합니다. 아, 이제 JR이 한국에 온다 그래서 한국 게이머들 그리고 주식백화 시청자분들이 정말 많은 질문을 달아주셨는데 다 소개하지 못해서 정말 아쉽습니다. 10월 5일에 APEC Industry Summit이라는 행사를 진행하는데 이 행사에서 AI 관련 세션이 진행될 거라고 들었거든요. 간단하게 설명 좀 해주시죠. Right now, we're mostly talking about Muse and 음. we're talking about Centus. You know, we've shown Muse as almost a web tool. We want to show it inside the editor. And with Centus, um, we're beginning to get some, some better demonstrations of what a character can be when they're driven by AI or driven by a neural net versus being driven by scripting. So it's more about showing people more of how these things work, um, bringing them alive for our customers. And then a month later, we're in Amsterdam with Unite, and we've got a whole series of new features that we want to show people using them and more demonstrations for how it works so developers can get a better understanding on how to make it work. 이 윈트 CEO로서 한국 게임 디벨로퍼들과 지지팩과 시청자들을 위해서 마지막 짧고 굵게 한 말씀 부탁드리겠습니다. I've been in the game industry now for a long time. I've been involved in the first 3D games, first multiplayer games, first internet games, the first mobile games. I've seen a lot. But the best times to be in the industry, in my experience, at the beginning of a major innovation wave. And I would call out the internet, is being one, mobile is one, 3D was one. The creativity, the freshness, the innovation that came from those technology transformations felt like Christmas. Everything was new. And great new intellectual properties were built around those technical innovations. AI is the dawning of a new era in game development. You're a game developer. You're more powerful than you've ever been before because of Muse. And because of Centus, you can dream of things that were never possible before. I have no idea what you're going to invent, but it's an incredible time to be a game developer because you're going to change the world in ways that no one knows. And I wish I was 30 years younger starting over. Yeah, 저도 30년 젊었으면 좋겠습니다. Thank you, uh, Mr. John Lichitello. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, John. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, fun. I'm fun. Two. Thank you. Thank you.